Cheers for joining us, Jude. So a, a 4-1 win today against Selston. How do you feel the team performs as a whole? Um, I think in the first half we played well, we moved the ball well and um, we were braver on the ball, played more passes today. Um, in the second half we were disappointed with how we played ultimately. Uh, we, we should have we should have done better. Uh, we dropped our standards and we said in there we were disappointed with how we played. Uh, our performance was, was it's a tale of two halves really, but we got the result in the end. Do you think the fact that you won 12-0 a few weeks ago against them, do you think it had any effect on the players at all coming into the match? Um, for us, no. If anything, it, we were more wary about them. Um, we knew they'd come out and they'd fight. I think for them, if it was me, it was a perfect game for them to come and, and put one past us and try and get revenge on us. So I think for us, no, not at all. We just look at it next game with the right mentality and be ruthless in both boxes, which we try to do every game. So. Uh, it was a well-rounded performance from yourself, but are you disappointed not to get on the score sheet at the end? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm good with that one, to be honest. Uh, I don't really get many a season. Well, trying to put that right, I've had a, had a little bet with Deeks that I'll get 10 this year, so it's a bit of a target on my back, but should have got one there. I spoke to a linesman after I said what was that for, but he said he got it wrong, but it's just one of them, that's football. And on the other hand, uh, Charlie and Mitchell getting their first goals for the club. How pleased are you um, for them? Yeah, buzzing for them. Uh, especially Charlie, he's, he's been getting forward and got in some good positions. So really good for him to get off the mark and like Juice making making the box, getting in there and scoring a good goal. And it's uh, Warsaw Wood on Tuesday. How do you feel going into that match? Yes, yeah, like I said, we, we just take every game the same um, down here at Grange Park. So it's just another game that we're looking forward to. Um, obviously, they're a decent side and back in the league so we're looking forward to it. Cheers for joining us Deeks. So a, a 4-1 win today against Selston in the FA Vase. How do you feel the team performs as a whole? Yeah I think um, like I, I just said to the lads in there I think we could have uh, could have gone up you know two or three more gears. Uh, I don't think we ever got out of first gear which is no disrespect to them but you know um, they went 3-0 in at half time uh, quite comfortable without being troubled at all and I think um, it's a case of you know we've with the result again you know, when we played them previously, uh, sometimes you have to mentally really get up for these more so than the games that you'd normally play in. In terms of, you know, we've played them twice now, so they was going to come here. They, they did what they did. To be fair to them, and uh, you know, it made it made it difficult for us. Sat back in, we had to try and break them down. Um, but we, you know, like I said to the lads, we won a game four-one, so it's another one ticked off and, and on to Tuesday night. And normally the lads are quite um, dominant in the second half. They score, seem to score a lot of goals in the second half, but it was quite the opposite today. What do you think the main reason was behind that? I think the, it was kind of job done, wasn't it, at half time? And I think, um, you know, usually I'd like to see the team go on and push on and, and, and really put, put teams to the sword. But I think um, there's a lot of tired legs out there. Uh, we had a lot of players missing today, um, just as precautionary measures with, with people that's, you know, uh, had a had a runny nose or whatever. You, you just can't take the chance anymore. Um, we've got a, you know two or three injuries as well. So in all, you know Sam's obviously going to be out for the season. The goalkeeper, which is a big blow for us. Um, so Marcus played well today, coming goal. So we had a lot of changes. We've got a lot of injuries, and I think it was just a, a case of kind of job done at half time, and, and let's just game manage the game and make sure we don't pick any more injuries up for for Tuesday. And of course, like you said, Marcus did start in goal today ahead of the, the injured Sam Wilson. How do you, um, how do you? think he performed today as a whole and how much do you think those minutes he got under his belt will just help him going forwards? Yeah, you, you forget with Marcus, he's still very young, you know, he's only 19 years old and um, he, he did he did very well today. Um, it was probably kind of a perfect game for him to come in, not a lot of pressure, um, we kind of knew that. Um, so it was, a, it was a good game for him to come in, he made a couple of good saves, he commanded his box very well, uh, he kicked the ball very well uh, and he did exactly what, what a goalkeeper should do, come in and, and be consistent and perform well. After exiting the FA Cup a few weeks ago and with the, the Derbyshire Senior Cup cancelled because of uh, COVID-19, would you say this cup is something that you'd really like to do well in as a manager? Yeah, I mean, any cup, uh, to be honest with you, you know, every, every time we, we go out to play a game of football, whether it's in the bars, the FA Cup, the, the Senior Cup, uh, the league, you go out and try and win it and perform to your best of your ability. And I think, you know, we'd, we'd be wrong of me to say no because you know it's a cup, it's a game of football and, and we'll go and win it if we can um, I want them to be on the front foot and attacking so uh, yeah we, we'd like to have a run in the FA Vars um, you know the lads were really unlucky in the FA Cup you know 30 seconds away from from taking a team at step three or, you know all the way um, so they, they've, they're more than capable of having a good run um, and it's my job to make sure that they, they, they keep on the straight and narrow and apply themselves right.